Welcome back to Bizarre Repairs! PlayStation 5 DualSense Controller Teardown Video Yes guys, that is right. I'm going to take my brand new DualSense Controller for the PS5 even though I don't have a PS5 but I'm going to take this controller and I'm going to freestyle this. I have not watched any videos on how to tear this down, but I'm going to break this thing apart, tear it down, and show you guys what's on the inside of this bad boy. And you know what? There's something in there because it's a lot heavier than the other controller. So I want you guys to please like and subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be doing all kinds of PS5 videos once I get my hands on one. So to start out, let's start out with this controller and let's bust this thing open. Stay tuned. All right, so let's get started. So just looking at this thing, you can kind of tell that these panels snap off somehow. How? I have no clue. The back doesn't look like it does, but these top ones, you can kind of see that they, they got to come off somehow. So obviously, now there could be adhesive underneath here, but I'm going to try and pry it open. That's where I'm going to start. Let's see. It seems like there's a tab right here. see some grooves on the inside of here where this should break open. If you have a plastic smudger that would probably be a lot better. Just see if these will pop up. Okay, it doesn't pop up easily. Try this one here at the bottom. Okay, that one kind of popped open. There we go. Okay, I like that. Definitely a point of entry. May not have no screws on this. I'm going to try to slide this all the way around and get all of them out. Plastic smudger would be a little easier. I wonder if this black comes off first.
God. I knew it. There was something easy there. All right, so what you're going to want to do is start with the, these little plates here. That was the secret. I knew it. I knew it. It would be somewhere. Cool. Like I said, guys, I did not watch any types of video. So as you can see, I probably already damaged the controller quite a bit. But there is our point of entry. Now, you can see the charging point at the bottom, the on-off switch, the PlayStation button. The controller's here. But look what I got at the bottom. Make sure you guys can see those. We got two screws here. So let's get these off. Let me get my uh, screwdriver set. And I'll be right back. All right, so let's get these two screws off. It's good to creep your screws in order. I'm using this I fix it magnet pad that you just drop the screw on, and it's a magnet. Just like so. All right, two screws off. Let's see if there's any other screws we can see. I don't see any more. But you do see a couple tabs here. That might have just been for the uh, the black plate. But okay, I don't see anything else. But let's see if, we, if this comes up. It is coming up. I love the design, by the way. Did a great job with this. If I haven't said so already. Okay, just be careful. I think this one has a tab. Yeah, there's a tab on the sides here, so you just want to make sure. Kind of press that in. Tabs are out, but something's still holding on to the front. Could be a front tab. Or a screw that I didn't get. Yeah, there's something definitely holding on this front section. Okay, I think I see a screw underneath this button. Okay, I think there's two more screws. Question is, how do you get to it? Maybe this button has to pop off or be lowered. Okay, I press these down. You guys can see down in there, there's two little screws and that's holding on the front plate. So. Do not try this at home. You probably will break your 
PlayStation, I mean your controller. Okay, this is gonna not be the, the way you're supposed to do this, but I am going to just press that screw down. I mean, press that button down and see if I can get this screw on, undone. Once again, this is not the official way. This is a freestyle disassembly. It's probably a really easy way to pop that button off, but because I can get in there. Let me pause the video and get a better bit. Okay, while well, trying to just shove in my other bit, sorry I didn't have the camera rolling, this screw just came, I mean, I'm sorry, the uh, R1 button just came right off, so it does look like that just pops off, which is cool. Ooh. All right, so that's the easy way to do it. Pop the buttons off and then the back little cover. Now, let's see if we can get to the screw. I might be able to use my original too. Okay, there we go. So not too bad. I don't think I've completely destroyed it yet. Whoa, okay, get the screw back over there. All right, now so far we got the back plate off. Got some kind of rubber pad in there. We got the front plate, back plate off. We have the L1 and the R1 buttons. Those are off. Now let's see what we have here. Make sure you guys can see that. Okay. We have a battery with some uh, made in China battery. Let's see if we can get that out. It just comes right off. All right, that just comes right out like so. All right, making sure I'm in frame there. All right, so we have our R2 and L2 buttons. A little plate here. We'll try to get that off. And we have some ribbon cables around the side. Our vibration, but also it looks like another motor on the left and right here. So let's keep digging in and Let's see what else. So there's a screw right there. I'm guessing that holds the plate in. All right, plate comes up. Watch out, there's a ribbon cable right there. So let's make sure we can get that off properly. It looks like the ribbon cable is one that just pulls directly up. Oh, like so. Cool. All right, and let's keep going. All right, next up, let's disconnect all the ribbon cables that we see. There's that one. You're a gonzo. It looks like some kind of weird sensor. Oh, that one was attached at the board. You're a goner. Let's take this one. Some of these, it could be tabs. I'm just making sure I don't have to lift up on the tab. I don't think so. It looks like it just comes up. Let's see. If I break this, I'm breaking it for you guys. Okay, cool. Came out. So the board, oh, here's another one on this side. Just grab it by the tab, pull up. All right, now you got these two cables here that I'm not gonna be able to lift the board out. So let's see if there's any additional screws that I can see. There's one here. Let's just see what this one does. Let's pull this one out.
can kind of lift up on this. There's something else holding this in place. Oh, here we go. There was another ribbon cable I didn't see. Let's get that off. Okay, there we go. All right, so the board is free. Hopefully there's another screw. I see one on each side there. That's probably what's holding these in. The repair for this uh, board doesn't look too bad. These are different color screws and a little longer, so always separate your screws. God for magnetized screws. Okay. Let's see what comes up now. What? Okay, I want to get this detached. There we go. All right, so this detaches as just one frame unit, which is actually a really good design. So let's just look at that for a moment. I thought that this would detach separately, but it doesn't. So you got your two ribbon cables on the side. Not sure what that was. It was probably another ribbon cable. Like I said, there's two motors. There's actually one there, and then a bigger one there, another one on the right, and then a bigger one. So you actually have four motors. And I'm not sure I can pull this off and see, but I don't think it's the same thing here. You can definitely see a difference. Um, but you guys correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, I'd have to open that up and see, but that's what I see. Knobs here. This obviously must be for uh, some of the other buttons. The PlayStation button is actually in the middle. And your USB-C port. Let's check the back. Connection for your ribbon cables. Looks like lights, some type of LED lights up front. And I will be putting this back together. I can't test it right now because I don't have a PS5, but uh, I think there's only one thing that I've broken, which was which was that. I'm not sure what that's for, but we'll see. It might still work. All right, let's scoot that over to the side here and just look at the this plate, another ribbon cable for the trackpad. There's two screws there, so we can actually pull that off. Taking apart is always easier than putting it back together. It'll take me a little bit more time, but I will put it back together. All right. There is the trackpad. Get the ribbon cable out. Set that off to the side. So here's the track pad, ribbon cable. And that's your button, your push down button. Feels very secure. Ribbon cable is very secure. Sweet track pad. Little bracket. Back plate again with the buttons. I think that's about as far as we're going to go. I fell off there. But um, these look attached to the motors. So you guys can see that there. Okay, so you guys, uh, that was the PS5 DualSense 
tear down controller. I will tear down the PlayStation once I eventually get it. But right now, uh, I was not able to, to secure a pre-order. I may or may not buy one on, on eBay, I'm not sure. But uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe for more videos. And uh, stay tuned because I'm definitely going to make a lot more of these. So, see you guys later.